Hello, my name is Catherine Parthimos and I'm the curator of Current Location Undefined. Here is a guided tour of the exhibition. Welcome to Summer Gallery. From the retina stems a journey into the mind. A neurological reaction grants us access to view the world around us. There is an ambiguous boundary, defining the world you see and the world you envision, yet it all stems from one organ. Focusing on connections, suspicious narrative, and artificial landscapes, we begin to dive into surrealist realities, blurring the lines between what is true and what could be. At times, our own creations can stimulate us far beyond the transmissions of light we constantly encounter, and can offer comfort and freedom. Our ability to link and merge context, narrative, and imagery is what leads us to the creation of new imaginative worlds. As we replay the past and live in the present, we strive to represent another moment, somewhere in between the future and reality. This tour will consist of short statements about the artist and artwork. Full statements will be available on Summer Gallery's Instagram. The first artist is Crystal Deer, with two artworks titled St. Anne's Vision Revised and The Immaculate Conception Revised. Crystal Deer graduated from Dawson College with a degree in Fine Arts, as well as a Bachelor of Fine Arts from Concordia University. The purpose of her work is to bring forth how she views animals, combining the aesthetic of the old masters with her perception of divinity. Next, we have two pieces by Haley Guzik titled Smile Back and Sleepover, Truth or Dare and Smashing Coconuts. Haley Guzik is a multidisciplinary artist and she received her Bachelor of Fine Arts from Mount Allison University in 2017. Guzik's practice in painting, installation, and new media is rooted in continual embodied interaction with her surroundings, using observation and recollection to reinterpret landscape, environment, and ecology. The paintings themselves become investigations into their own materiality. Acting as a meditation on the painted surface itself, the works become a site for challenging her ability to reconstruct elements of landscape from memory. The next artist is Trevor Bourke, with this piece titled Cleft. Bourke is fascinated with networks. From a young age, he can remember spending hours linking stories and objects to one another in an attempt to create imaginary places occupied by curious objects and beings. Through the discovery of objects and ideas throughout history, he has developed this fantasy world into a reflection and interpretation of contemporary society. He aims to create captivating and mysterious images and characters that engage the viewer on a personal level rather than a homogenized narrative or concept. The next artist is Gabor Bata. This piece is titled Big Mouth. Bata is currently pursuing his MFA in painting and drawing at Concordia University. This work delves into the stripped-down visual language of comics and animation to tell stories of characters striving for connection, but who seemingly are lost in their own abstraction. Faded grids, hollowed speech bubbles, and flailing limbs hint at a narrative desperately wanting to be communicated. The angst, frustration, desire, and elation twisting through the technicolor landscape can be interpreted as both harsh and inviting. The next artist is Horace Jacques de Rocher, with these two sculptures titled Paysage 1 and Paysage 2. Horace Jacques de Rocher's artistic practice investigates our understanding of objects and material, her interest in craftsmanship and artistic modes of production and ceramic processes makes her question our expectations of how something is made. She revisits the structure of manufactured objects, blurs assumptions, and experiments the unpredictability of materials to shape interesting objects. Paysage is a series of porcelain sculptures unveiling an ambiguous, faulty usefulness while celebrating their plenitude. 
Deconstructed and reanimated, these objects are revealed seductive, imperfect, and intriguing. The final artist is José Guillermo García Sierra, with this piece titled Trajinera en el Cielo. José Guillermo García Sierra recently completed his Bachelor of Fine Arts from Concordia University. His primary practice centers around painting. The main subjects apparent in his works are playful constructions that strive to find harmony in content and form. Pink clouds fill the skies. Stormy ripples fill my eyes. Weary the fisherman rows. Slow and steady the boat flows. Away from the colossus we rush. Perhaps our intention is to approach. Thanks for watching the guided tour of current location undefined. You can follow Summer Gallery on Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube. And I hope to see you guys in gallery sometime soon. Thanks.